Hi, Tanny. It's Elijah. I spoke to you earlier about uh, putting together this video to go over what you guys can do to increase the customer base for your company. Um, so I've tailored this video to go over one, where you guys rank, um, two, why your competitor is beating you, um, and three, what you can do to, to beat your competitor out. So I'll start with uh, why you guys are ranked where you are, where you guys are ranked at, and explain to you why that you're there for that particular reason, and then um, I'll move on to show you a little bit about your competition um, and how we can go about beating them. So the first thing I did was pull up your website. To be honest, um, I came across you guys by typing in Pavers San Diego, which um, Paving San Diego is obviously isn't your main theme here. Your main theme is landscaping. And I got to tell you, for landscaping, you're not doing bad, right? Like, that's a really good keyword. Um but in this particular video, I'm going to go over how you can rank better for pavers um, if you apply a couple different things. And then that's going to increase how many come or how many customers you have coming in um, that w that want more pave work. And, it, and two, this is also going to depend on if you're looking for more clientele, if you're looking to expand and grow your company more, or if you're if you guys are OK with where you're at right now and you don't want any more company, um, you don't want any more uh, customers. So. Checking out your website, the first thing I saw was that it was nicely put together. It's a, it's a pretty simple site. I like it. Um, it's probably great for conversion. There are a couple of things that could improve because people today they like to see videos, um, and they want to be real personable with you. So that's that's what's recently changed in the last year, um, and that's honestly kind of like the sucky part about SEO. The tactics for SEO change all the time, um, and and you really have to stay on top of it in order to keep your rankings. So I also noticed that. Uh, your website doesn't have what Google considers to be uh, enough content. So Google has this thing where they think that a site is really optimized and uh, and has a lot of value to give out to the community when they have 1,500 words at minimum, um, about 1,500 to 2,000 at minimum, and and that puts the that puts you over your competitors by default according to their algorithm. And that algorithm is constantly changing. Um, it's it's constantly trying to provide the best um, the best services so a lot of SEO what you'll see is that with a lot of SEO companies that do a lot of black hat things that they shouldn't be doing which is like bombarding people with um, extremely spammy backlinks because they tell them that they need a high quality or, or they need a high quantity of that and that's not that's not the truth or they use um, they misuse or do the wrong keyword research which keyword research will destroy your website if you're not cited correctly um, which for you guys landscaping I didn't see where landscaping keywords weren't utilized correctly so um, I'm really excited about that you guys should be seeing a maximum amount of, of landscaping customers um, so I, I use this sweet tool called a uh, it's about 300 bucks a month um, and it's a great investment you guys can get it if you want to uh, you don't have to but a lot of other tools don't work as well as a because a works like hand-in-hand -hand with Google so their numbers, although their estimations, the estimations are almost pretty much spot on. So it's it's closer to like 98%. Like the ARES is a, a amazing tool. So what it does is it allows me to break apart your entire website, like get straight down to the nitty gritty, the bare bones of what's going on with your site and see where you're at. Now it doesn't tell me this. My training and, and experience is what tells me this. Um, but I, I'll show you in this video just that you can figure it out for yourself as well. So the first thing I noticed is that you guys had um, 28 referring domains. And what referring domains are is when a website allows you to link to it, whether it's via a video, um, an image, um, anchor text, or just um, somewhere you've, you've written in a blog or something like that. And they've given you the authority for people to, to click on that link that you put in that blog or that anchor text that you set up on your website on their website to link back to yours so that's what that's what backlinks are and and the reason why that's important is because Google sees these backlinks as um, site authority or popularity it's kinda like the foundation for your business like the foundation for your business online if you have if you're backed by a lot of highly rated websites then Google's gonna quickly move you up in your ranking because you have a lot of trust um, Next, these are your keywords. So the reason why I love this is because it actually breaks down and shows me where you're ranking on Google. Um, that's what this position is for. If you're on the front page, then you'll be position 1 to 10. If you're on the second page, obviously, you'll be 11 to 20 and so on and so on. And so like 
this I have right now organized based on how much traffic you get compared to your keywords, which is why I was able to see that you have a lot of landscaping keywords that get searched a lot. And if they're done correctly, uh, you should be landing tons of customers based on them. Um, what I will say is that your, your optimization for your pavers site isn't done correctly. And that's why you're not ranking higher on that. But it's, it's really easy to take that one pavers webs or that one pavers page, add the appropriate amount of content, redo your keywords and rank for it because you have the, you already have proper backing. Like that, that's not a hard keyword to rank for in the first place. So I wanted to show you a competitor who by me typing in Paver San Diego is beating you right now for that particular uh, page that you have Paver San Diego. Um, and all I did was type in Paver San Diego and Paver San Diego came up and this is their website. And uh, like I said, with your website, um, it's a decent website that they have, but they don't have the amount of content that Google sees as required in order for a site to be fully optimized. And that's how I know that we could go through there and we could beat out your competitor because um, they don't have the right amount of content. Secondly, I took a look into the to dive into the background of their bare bones as well, and I kind of wanted to share this with you so you could see, just so you could understand. Um, they have thirty, they have thirty six referring domains, um, and from those thirty six referring domains, they have one hundred and sixty three backlinks. And there's this rule of thumb that you can get no more than the perfect place to be is to have no more than 20 referring um, links from that one referring domain. So say I have a site and it has 20 referring uh, or it has 20 links coming from that site directly. Um, then that's a good site if the domain rating is high. If the domain rating is low, then it's not a good site and I don't want it. Um, so that's there's a difference between the type of backlink you get. So the type of referring domain you get the the rating of the referring domain and how many links are actually connected to that referring domain, which you guys aren't doing bad at. You're, you're decent with, um, so your competitors, they don't have a lot of referring domains. They don't have a lot of backlinks. Um, but they've got a ton of organic keywords, the same way that you do in this driving in exponential amount of clients. Um, but in the one thing I really wanted you to see is that it's the keywords that they're ranking for that we can come in here and we can figure out how to get on your page. So, um, pavers, San Diego, San Diego pavers, um, weeds between pavers, whatever, like all these things can come in and you can get cited for as simple as honestly having a blog. Um, if you wanted to do that, it'd be worth it. If not, you can just add the content to the one page on the, <clears throat> you can add the content to the one page on your website for pavers and it would improve how many customers you have coming in. You'd easily dominate Google with that. So lastly, I wanted to show you uh, what's considered the Google Map Pack or citations. And citations are where you're going to put your address, your phone number, um, and your business name. And the reason why it's so important is because everything today is essentially being ran off of mobile. Most people are operating and opening up um, websites from their mobile website, from their, from their mobile devices. And so when they're searching, that's what's going to come up and that's what they're going to use. <clears throat> they're going to use Google Maps. So if you're not optimizing the Google Map Pack, even if your primary target outside of landscape landscape design um, is pavers, it needs to be a category um, optimized for on your Google Maps in order for you to pop up here for it. So if you guys are looking to have more success and wider variety of ways, then your keywords need to be optimized on the page. So you need to add additional pages or you need to add um, or you need to blog about a specific topic with that particular keyword um, with the right amount of um, content in order for you to really get ranked for it. And so this is this is what's necessary. So again, this right here, this map pack will be raised based on whether or not if you're ranking organically on Google as well. So the higher you are in Google's rankings, um, automatically the higher they're going to move you in here. Uh, but it's also key to optimize it in here. If it's not optimized, it doesn't matter how well you're ranked here. Um, you won't get where you want to be. You could be number five and six, but if you were optimized, you'd be number one. So Tony, that's what I said I would go over uh, in the beginning of the video, just making sure that I told you guys, one, how you were ranked, what you can do to rank better, um, why your competitor is beating you, uh, what you can do to, be to beat out your competitor. So um, if you guys you know, don't have the time to do it and you want my assistance, then you can give me a call at 
527-7297. Again, this is Elijah with Kingdom Digital. Uh, if not, and you guys want to apply everything I said in here yourselves, I'm absolutely cool with that. Uh, all I ask is that you just send me over uh, one sentence. You let me know like what type of value you got from this and or how you appreciated or didn't appreciate the video. Uh, because I'm really trying to help small businesses. A lot of them took a, a huge blow this year from everything that happened. And I really want to get them on a the good foot on a good foot going forward in 2021 uh, by adding tremendous value. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you, Tani. Thanks again. Again, this is Elijah with Kingdom Digital and my telephone number is 770-527-7297.